Okay, Mr. Cruz, you ready for this? Yeah. Stop! What are you doing? It's not a vaccine! <laughs> Hello, everyone. The situation which went on right behind me isn't the best scenario for the person who was receiving their vaccine. But before we go into determining whether or not a person should receive their vaccines, let us know what these vaccines really are. Come along with me. Vaccines. Vaccines have been used throughout the world since as early as 1759. The first vaccine ever made was made by this guy right up here, and it was to prevent uh, smallpox. Because of this advancement in science and medicine, we were able to start preventing large, larger and larger diseases and infections that happened throughout the world. These Sharpie boys, aka known as syringes, are filled with a type of liquid or substance that are diluted or killed off versions of diseases. These diluted versions of disease are then put into a bloodstream where your white blood cells will then fight off the infection and after they are fought off will have a memory stored inside of them which will then be prepared to fight off the infection next time it comes around. So how have vaccines benefited the United States? Well first off, let's take a look at how the United States has implemented these vaccines. So first off, we started off with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention which has been made to issue several laws and bills throughout the United States to ensure that everyone gets their vaccines and make sure we have healthy well-being. So diseases such as polio have been put into the United States. Well, not placed here, but you know, they, they were evolved and the United States had to suffer through many things. But because they were, we had diseases such as polio, we had to issue out uh, the vaccines and antibiotics to help prevent these. And it was until the 1960s that the wide scale use of vaccines has became apparent. And because of this, many people were able to fight off this disease and were able to go against such uh, diseases which have made it so that people weren't able to walk, had a bunch of issues with their bodies, and now the disease is nearly eradicated. But not everyone is in support of these vaccinations which this nation so desperately needs in order for its health to be better. So for more information on who, why these people would decide not to vaccinate their children, here is Gus Bus. My name is Gus Bus and I'll be talking about the anti-vax kids and people. The anti-vax movement has started to rise and we might of course say, what the heck is the anti-vax movement? So this anti-vax movement are parents that do not want to vaccinate their kids. I believe that with these vaccines, the kids will get diseases like autism or even worse cases, they think they will die at an early age than a kid that's vaccinated. This is a negative connotation for society because we've always been having vaccines since the 1960s. And right now we are moving to a pace where diseases like measles, smallpox, were not able to be able to kill us. But now with the vaccines, we're no longer in the threat of those diseases. However, with this new anti-vax movement, it's causing kids to not be vaccinated, usually up to age 18. It can cause really big, major outbreaks because these kids are not vaccinated for the disease that they have. It can either have more detrimental connotations against their bodies, or it can be, they could be a carrying disease with, that can contract even someone who's vaccinated, but their bodies can contain a stronger level of the disease that they have been intoxicated with because they haven't received the vaccine. Now the bodies can react to the wrong or right depending on the person, but not everybody has the same genes, which either someone can die at an early age by getting measles, or that person can become a new source to a new source for the measles to be spread like in a school or a local area. Now, mom's belief is that their cure to these diseases, if they receive it, is through essential oils and special rocks. I don't know what they mean by that, but supposedly it works, but it does not. This is literally, if we were back in the Middle Ages, where doctors didn't know how to cure people because they thought that, oh, we'll just put a little bit of oil or sweat oil on this kid and he'll be fine. That's what's literally the anti-vax movement is bringing up back. Closing statement, I'd like to bring Carlos into, back to the stage. Vaccinate your children.